in 2025 release wave one, we are releasing a really big change or update to the manufacturing analytics. Um, in this video, I will show you what we have done in the Power BI app. And there's also a, a different um, video that is only um, about the modernization of the legacy reports in manufacturing. So here we're going to talk about uh, updated reports in the Power BI app. Note that all of this is coming in version 26.1. New reports surfacing in the Power BI app for manufacturing and, uh, and then some learn more links if you want to dive into uh, the specifics of analytics for manufacturing. But before we do that, we have some, so had some guiding themes of our investment in updating the Power BI app for this release wave. And that consists of three pillars. We took a lot of feedback from subject matter experts in the partner community um, in, within manufacturing. And, uh, and then we incorporated that into the existing app. Second, we have uh, this vision of modernizing the legacy reports in, in manufacturing and simply making as much of the analytical, analytical power in these old reports available in Power BI. And then we couldn't help ourselves also adding some of the things where Power BI really shines. So we added a report that gives you a Gantt visualization of your production order routing lines. So um, let's dive into first um, the first part, which is updated reports in the Power BI app. So let's first take a look at some of the reports that we updated in the manufacturing Power BI app. The first is the work center load report. Here you can see the original version from last semester. And here you can see the updated report. Another example is ex expected capacity need where uh, the previous one here is on the left, and uh, the new version here is on the right. And I'll uh, demo all three so that you get a closer look. The final one I want to show you is finished production order breakdown. Uh, again, you can see uh, the original version here on the left and the current version now. So let's dive into Power BI and just uh, explore these three updated reports. So the reworked work center report um, our load report is, first of all, showing a better visualization across your work centers here um, with color scheme of allocated time and also how much is then uh, available after you have put in orders. The new design is also um, much easier if you have multiple work centers so that um, it, it simply fits the screen better. And then we decided to put in a detailed um, statistics report below here so that you can, um, whenever you pick a single uh, work center here, you can then um, dive into the details in the table. The updated expected capacity need report have a couple of enhancements. First of all, you can see that the report now both shows analytics or insights by work center and also show it by machine center. And the second enhancement is that the details here is not only on the order, but you can actually go down to the order line level as well. The final updated report I want to show you here is the finished production order breakdown. This uh, new version of the report um, shows, first of all, KPI but there's also a new focus on costs and the breakdown of costs by production order. Here you can see the actual costs, uh, the actual uh, capacity overhead cost, uh, the cost associated to overhead, um, the actual overhead costs and so on. So um, hopefully that gives you a better way to, to look at your production orders uh, with that view in mind, um, breaking down the cost for them. We also added a lot of new reports. Some of them are not as visually appealing as may, what you maybe see in the sales app or other 
apps. And that's because we migrated or replicated a lot of the statistical reports from legacy Power BI um, manufacturing. So that's why they're very table-like, in, at least in the first version here. We might change that in a later release. Here you see the work center statistics report. And note that you can see capacity in minutes. Um, that is something that, that you can change, but you have to get access to the Power BI um, file for that. And uh, let's see if we can make that happen. The second report is a machine center statistics, very similar um, to the other one, except this shows you uh, also statistics on scrap. Um, and uh, let me actually just show you that. So here is the report live. You have a lot of, a lot of numbers here, so many that I even need to scroll to the right here uh, to see things um, or measures KPI such as allocated time, uh, sender output, scrap, scrap percentage, uh, stop time, and so on. So um, this machine center statistics should give you everything you need to go down on that detail in your production. The final report I will demo today, there are actually many more, is the production uh, order rounding lines Gantt chart. So with this report, um, you can either look at your production order lines or routing lines in a visual way here. Whenever you interact with the visual parts, the table part will follow along. If you think this particular visual is too small, you can always make it uh, bigger in the focus mode here. And then uh, you can interact with the different parts, uh, or sorry, different orders and see the routing lines over this timeline. This is not on live data. This is the data that has been refreshed in the Power BI uh, report. So, um, so you might also want have to have more live versions of this. But we, um, we, we still thought it would be interesting to see the routing lines in a Gantt chart in the report. So let us know what you think and, and how, how you can use this in your daily operations. Now, this was just a sneak peek into the Enhanced Power BI app for manufacturing that we ship in version 26.1. You might have noticed that I am not demoing in the embedded experience. This is because right now and when we record this, that part we are still finishing up. So that's why I'm, I'm showing the raw Power BI. Um, in this updated app, you can see here on the screen that we have updated uh, these six reports. Um, we will also likely deprecate uh, these two current utilization and historical utilization, uh, likely just hide them in, uh, in, the, in this version and then remove them in a later one. And then you get new reports. I, or you, you saw work center statistics, machine load, um, a few of these, uh, but we also, and, and the routing, um, Gantt, there are also task, uh, a task list um, drill through that apparently I have twice here on the list. So sorry about that. Um, so try it out, try and see how it works for you. Give us feedback. If we need to do some adjustments, we'll happy to do that uh, to make this um, really useful for your manufacturing business. If you're interested in learning more about analytics in the manufacturing area, the easiest way I find is simply to have this AKA link, aka.ms forward slash BC manufacturing analytics. And let's just uh, go there and see what that is all about. And then um, you are off for this video and can go and learn some other things. So the manufacturing analytics landing page follow the same structure as all the other functional areas. I'll just scroll down a little here. Um, so we are under manufacturing and here you have both the documentation for the Power BI app. Each of the pages have their own uh, documentation page, but you also here have an overview of production uh, reports uh, here, both the, um, the legacy ones, uh, the ones that will likely be started deprecation in this release wave, 
and a lot of the new reports that if you want to see what that's about, you need to go and watch the, uh, the other video on what's new in manufacturing analytics for uh, with, with reporting aspect. So with that, I wish you a great uh, launch event. I hope you learned something here and also will continue learning in the other sessions. Thank you.